What's up guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install Android 7.1.2 Lineage OS Nougat on your ASUS ZenPad 8.0 Z380KL. So, the process is going to be quite simple, so just follow instructions and everything will be okay. So, first make sure you have a backup whether in the cloud or anything so you will be restored or if anything went wrong you will be able to restore. So, right here, this is my tablet, it's in shutdown mode. So basically you have to install some ADB drivers. You can install the ones from from Google from Google if you need one of those. Then if you have already installed it, then you you can put, proceed to the next step. So right here, make sure you have ADB set up and you're going to locate in a directory. So I'm just going to close this command prompt. Then we're going to power on the device if not already. Okay. Wait for it. Then I'm going to continue when it's finished booting. Right here I'm going to turn horizontal for a better view. And right here you can see now my... Um, before that my, my tablet um, just freezes, that's why it didn't win successfully. Right now it's sold. It's right here. The recovery finished successfully. Now you're going to type fast boot reboot. Hit enter. It went black again. Then you're going to wait until the logo to disappear. So we're going to wait for it. I'm going to type the command right there. ADB. Okay, so it's now open. It's now booting up. Right here, ADB. Then we're going to find the following command. Reboot. Recovery. This way you don't need any type of bootloader unlock. Here we go. Now the screen went black again. And wait for it to boot up. Then it will enter the twerp recovery screen. Right here. It's right here. Here we go. So it might ask you for modify changes. Just click never show this again and swipe. Right here now we're in the twerp menu. Then right here on your PC you should see your device listed there. Now we're going to head over to Downloads. Okay, so we're going to create a new folder. And we're, going to, we're just going to call it um, Flash. Head back to your Downloads folder, then choose both of them. Hold Shift. And we're going to choose OK. Wait, this is not what I want. We're just going to select it by this. Choose copy, and I'm going to head over to the flash folder and I'm going to paste it. While we wait this to finish, we're going to choose wipe and swipe to factory reset. It's not going to interrupt the process, so just to make so just to make sure also click advance no not here fine that's that's not necessary okay once they're both pasted there we're gonna mm -hmm. choose install head over to the folder we just created flash this one add more zip then swipe Dinish OS will now start to flash by the way, the bootloader is still locked and I have no reason it is unlocked or, or locked. So that's okay. That's not important right now. While patching system image unconditionally, we're going to wait until the OpenGApps installation is also gone through. The installation went successfully and we're just going to click reboot system right after it. Before that, click wipe couch stack. Wipe couch topic, sorry. <laughs> click reboot system. 
and everything should be good to go once again. And once you see that lineage flashing green, then you're ready to go. We're gonna wait until the boot screen opens right here. Good sign. By the way, this is an official build supported by Lineage OS. Right here, let me just take a look at it. Downloads. Asus Zenpad. Right here, it's supported. So I'm flashing the latest build and we're gonna wait until the boot to finish. Once the boot up is complete, your tablet should be looked as new. So I'm gonna complete the setup. And let's guess and I'll complete I'll go up and and come back when the setup is finished. So the great process of custom ROM setup has just gone through and I have probably started restoring most of the stuff I'm I have done on my LG K10. So right here everything is working and and as here I'm excited to say that you have completed the process of installing a custom ROM with a with Google Play Store installed. So and that's about it. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is one of the most shorted custom ROM installation video I've ever made. So that shouldn't give too much of a problem. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoy.